Hello. So we are into the second part of our uh, uh, lecture or demonstration in our uh, select like how to shoulder a motherboard. Uh, so now today I will be showing you some typical uh, actions which we do take place in the commercial repairing world related to the SMD components. So what about the SMD components has already been issued uh, or already have said it in the last um, uh, module. So now first I'll start with a two leg and three leg SMD components. Now anyhow for that uh, the very important things are that you require the various type of uh, your call as uh, tweezers, the pointed say like the bended tweezer, the straight tweezers, maybe a flat tweezers. These are the various type of tweezers you require out. Now, because there are places where your have, have fingers cannot hold, so this has to be hold with the tweezer. Now, removing and placing any SMD component, we have to remember whatever the job has been done, it has been done by heating. That by heating, it can remove it, by heating, we can place it up. We don't require any extra shouldering wire or something to place it or to remove it. So the entire job is done by the heat concept itself. By heating, we remove it. By heating, we place it. Yes, one important thing, if we are placing a new component, the component's leg must be shouldered once with the shoulder leg. Otherwise, it won't sit in the board. Because uh, if we are using a used component in a board, that is we are removing and replacing it up, then we can use uh, without using any shoulder wire. But once we are trying to use a place it with a replace with a new one, we have to uh, add shoulder uh, to the legs of the joining uh, areas. So here we start. Say first we will try up to remove up any small components, say like uh, the SMD, maybe the resistance or something. So always hold across the resistance or the component. That is, don't hold on uh, the shouldered area. Hold it on a non-shouldered area. That is the first rule of shouldering. And then uh, use the hot air gun. And uh, whichever the component you want to remove it, you have to adjust your heat and air depending on the requirement. So I'm just removing this is I have removed a capacitor which has been holded up in the tweezer. It's a very small, very micro device. So you have to remember that you have to work on such devices uh, for your day to day repairs. Again, if I want to place it, just hold it where it was, give a heat remove your heater and then remove your tweezer the very important rules are hold it first give a heat hold it it will come out no need of any pressure or body uh, energy or something once it is melted or automatic will come out so this is the inductance what i have taken out now i am placing it back while placing, give heat, remove the heater, remove the holder. That's all. It's a fraction of seconds how you can work out. You can do the same thing with the FETs, with the ICs, everyone. Say like I'm showing one multi-leg component, maybe an IC. So I'm removing an IC, it's an 8-pin IC. This IC has been removed. Now, I have to place it back, I just hold it in the position, give the heat, proper placing is important, give the heat and the job is ready. First remove the heater, let it cool down, remove your holder tweezer. Now, 
not only your uh, two leg and multi leg you can also remove your transistors this is how I have removed this is a transistor it's a three legs two leg on one side and one leg on the other side and I'm placing it back say suppose uh, this is the clock generator if I want to remove this clock generator nothing but I'll give the heat this is how the IC has been removed up now I have to place it I just do this place it properly give it a heat remove the iron then remove the holder Now, one more important.